morning everyone welcome to St Michael's Academy Betia's e-learning class of English grammar class 5 so today we are going to do chapter 13 word power so the first one is synonyms hum ise hindi mein parivachi shabd ke naam se bhi jante hain so what is synonyms words having similar meaning are called synonyms means that a word or a phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language is called synonyms like ability and capacity apt suitable anxiety worry so these are the words which has a similar meanings Now the next one is antonyms. इसे हम हिंदी में विलोम शब्द के नाम से जानते हैं So now what is antonyms? Words having opposite meanings are called antonyms. That means a word opposite in meaning to another is known as antonyms like bad. So what is the opposite meaning of bad? good likewise you can see in the book object reject arrive depart assemble disperse begin end hide and seek all these having a opposite meaning now next one is prefix so what do you mean by a prefix a prefix is a letter or a group of letters which can change the meaning of a word when placed before it that means that a group of letters or a letter placed before the root of the word for example you can see in the book first it is written cycle and after that we have placed bi before the word then it change into bicycle so its meaning of that word also changed so you can see in the list of some important prefix like we have added a before the word and it change into sore so first it is written sore s h o r e sore that means land adjoining non flowing body of water such as ocean lake or pond so after some time i have added a before that word and it change into sor which means on the land as opposed to on board now you can see that in prefix we add word letter or a group of letter before the words now the next one is suffix a suffix is a letter or a group of letters which can change the meaning of a word when placed at the end of it that means a letter or a group of letter added at the end of the word to form a new word and its meaning will be changed is known as suffix now you can see in the book that first it is written function and after that we have added suffix means we have added a letter groups of letter al so it will change into functional so it meanings also changed there so you can see in the book also list of some important suffix a g e h so i have we have added so here you can see in the book it is written marriage drainage and orphanage so here the word is changed after we have added suffix means after we have added a letter or a group of word at the end of the sentence and its meaning also changes like ness 
we have written happiness kindness cleanliness so you have learned the difference between the prefix and suffix in prefix we add a letter or a group of letter before a word and in suffix we add a letter or a group of letter after a word at the end now the next one is creatures sounds and motions now in this the creatures animals or birds sounds and motions is been mentioned here like app sound will be gibbers and motion swings likewise all creatures sounds and motions have been mentioned here the next one is sounds of objects so these words resemble the sounds made by the respective objects so these are the sounds made by these objects like babble of a stream so what is the sound of a stream babble likewise all have been given now next one is homographs so what do you mean by homographs words having more than word meaning depending on the use in the sentence are called homographs that means word that shares the same written form as another word but has a different meaning means word will be same but it has a different meaning shabd ek jaise rahenge but unka arth jo hai wo alag rahega like you can see in the book bat so here the first meaning of the bat is a sports equipment we use in cricket to play to play the cricket we use bat and the second meaning of bat is a winged animal jisko hum hindi mein ullu bolte hain now you can see the difference the word is same but that word has two different meaning now the next one is homophones homophones is a word having similar pronunciation but different meaning are called homophones so homophones is a word that is pronounced the same as another word but differs in meaning iska matlab ye hua ki unka uchcharan jo hai ek jaisa hai but unka arth alag alag hai for example you can see in the book break so here b r a k e so here break means a device for slowing or stopping a moving vehicle but here break means b r e a k it means an interruption of continuity so you can see here if we are saying both the words they have the similar pronunciation but if we see its meaning are different now it's time for your homework so what is your homework you have to learn all the antonyms synonyms prefix suffix homographs and homophones you have to learn it it will come in exams i hope you understood the chapter thank you